Good evening. I am so very excited to welcome the Cornelius Eady Group to Westchester University's Poetry and Creative Arts Festival. In just a few moments, they will be zooming in live from New York City. But before they begin, I would like to introduce Cornelius, Lisa, and Charlie. First, Cornelius. Poet, playwright, songwriter, and Cave Canem co-founder Cornelius Eady was born in Rochester, New York in 1954 and is professor of English and the John C. Hodges Chair of Excellence in Poetry at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, a position last held by U.S. Poet Laureate Joy Harjo. He's the author of several poetry collections, including Victims of the Latest Dance Craze, winner of the 1985 Lamont Prize, The Gathering of My Name, nominated for the 1992 Pulitzer Prize in Poetry, Brutal Imagination, and Hard-Headed Weather. He wrote the libretto to, Ju to Deidre Murray's opera, Running Man, which was shortlisted for the Pulitzer Prize in theater. And his first play, Brutal Imagination, won the Oppenheimer Prize for Best First Play from an American Playwright in 2001. His awards include fellowships from the NEA, the Guggenheim Foundation, and the Rockefeller Foundation. Joe Francis Dorr argues that, quote, Edie's music is in the vein of Taj Mahal when he's at his metaphysical best, Kebmo when he's most squarely located at the crossroads of tradition and innovation, and Eric Bibb when he's at his most soulfully transcendent. Cornelius is joined by Lisa Liu, Liu and Charlie Rao. Lisa Liu is a guitarist based in Brooklyn, New York. She plays gypsy jazz, experimental folk, and solo guitar. Lou is an artist ambassador for Santa Cruz Guitar Company and is also endorsed by Crevo Pickups. She is a teaching artist at the Django in June and has also been an artist in residence at the Robert Rauschenberg Foundation. About Lou's work, Krista Titus of Billboard Magazine says, Lou performs with a confident John Grace that reveals an intuitive command of her instrument and her versatile picking style ranges from a playful nimbleness to straight up jamming. And finally, last but not least, New York City based guitarist composer Charlie Rao has been invited to be a resident composer by such organizations as the Rauschenberg Foundation, the Klostrid Foundation, and the Chen Dance Center. His work as a soloist has been supported by grants from Meet the Composer, the Untitled Artist Group, and the Fractured Atlas Group. Rao's approach to solo guitar composition takes inspiration from folk lullabies, planchant, and the imaginary of various poets ranging from the Brontes to Anna Akmodova. Acoustic Guitar Magazine notes that Quote, Charlie Rao plays guitar with a quiet intensity, each note and chord ringing with purpose. With these lullabies, Rao gives gentle reminder that playing soft and slow can be more impactful than loud and fast. Rao is currently signed to the Austin-based label Destiny Records as a soloist and a recording artist. The Cornelius Eady Group has a new album, Don't Get Dead, Pandemic Folk Songs, which was released in November, 2021, from June Apple Recordings as part of their Shockwave series. They tell us, quote, the new record is a tremendous effort from artists who, quote, sang their way through barbed wire year and is a reminder of the powerful the power of music and the arts to make sense of even the strangest of times. Please join me in welcoming the Cornelius Edie Group to our virtual stage. We would like to remind you to keep your microphones off during the performance and after the performance, we will have a question and answer period and you'll be invited to unmute them for applause and to ask questions. Thank you very much. Great. Well, thank you for inviting us. Um, we're happy to be here and pleased to uh, perform for you. Um, as, as it was said, we're going to be playing um, selections from our album, um, Don't Get Dead. And it is a um, pandemic folk song cycle, uh, written um, mostly during the, um, the the height of the first wave um, from March, starting in March 2020. Um, and we are 
we, we wrote the songs in isolation, recorded them in isolation, and playing them together now, and, and you know, having the joy of playing these songs together, together, you know, in, in one place, in person. This is really just, just a, a thrill. Um, first song is called The Misery Bed, which is pretty much the way it felt in March 2020. <laughs> what is kind of like the feeling it the way it felt um, the project um, the song's called little boat and it's really about again this isolation um, being by yourself you know uh, being suddenly scared not knowing what's going to happen next and the feeling that you can't go out and um, you know can't go out in the world you can't see your friends um, and, and you know it's kind of this little boat's kind of the song's kind of like a metaphor for the project itself um, we built our little boat, <laughs> so to speak, of songs. The wolf is hungry at my door, but Lord, I'm hungry too. All I ask is a little boat. What else can a poor boy do? Lord, lend me a little boat For me and my friends to float Lord, lend me a little boat For me and my friends to float Oh, the time is out of joint 
the tide is rising high All I want is a little boat For me and my friends to fly Lord, lend me a little boat For me and my friends to float Lord, lend me a little boat For me and my friends to float Next one's called Heaven, and again, we're in the middle of the first wave of the pandemic, and this is what it kind of like felt, kind of felt like. There are no germs in heaven, but to get there, you must turn into mud. There is no fear in heaven Cause in heaven everyone has the right blood Germs in heaven 
your tickets, you'll sweat on the day that you die. workers that went through so much, um, especially during the first wave of the pandemic. Uh, this is called Nurse Redline. Collecting ghost rates. There's no deposits, no returns. After all your heart is spent. There's a red line, tough and fine. Made with saint of the left behind. As you world on news, who's gonna rescue you? So it doesn't feel like it's all like gloom and doom. Um, here's one that's a little more hopeful. <laughs> uh, and this is actually based on a quote from Walt Whitman. And as he was the older Walt Whitman, the great, great poet Walt Whitman, uh, living in Camden, New Jersey. 
and uh, just about the time when he started to become ill, he was talking to one of his biographers. Um, and on the last day he talked with his biographer, last time his biographer told, saw him alive, he noticed that Whitman was starting to ail, and, and he said, well, I, I hope you feel, be, will be feeling better soon, Walt. And Whitman said, well, it's clouded now, possibly it'll pass by. And um, I took that, this was around the time of the 2020 election. So I was hoping, hope <laughs> is the inspiration for, the, for this song here. It'll pass by. this, uh, I think, last song, uh, which is actually the last song on the album, um, and it came about by, um, by accident. Um, we somehow, when we were working on the project, somebody from the BBC uh, found out about it and uh, contacted us and wanted to do a radio show about the project. And as we were putting the radio show together, the producer said, well, excuse me, the producer said, well, we need an upbeat song, a happy song, 
to end the project because it's so. And we said, well, we don't do happy songs. <laughs> you know, we're not the association. We're not. You know, we just don't do that. But this is this is as happy as we get. It's called Sunshine. Baby, sitting in the rain, waiting on the sun to shine. Mr. Blues, go back to from where you came, waiting on the sun to shine. Wanna know how it feels in the catbird seat, waiting on the sun to shine. Drop me off, what joy ass has got to meet, waiting on the sun to shine. Sky, waiting on the sun to shine. Sun starts shining, the moon got you high. Waiting on the sun to shine. Ain't bloody likely we'll miss your son waiting on the sun to shine. Okay. <laughs> you can unmute it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> jump, Thank jump. you. Oh. We really enjoyed it. Really we, we, we really did. Yeah, want to do an encore? Oh, Lisa's saying, do we know an encore? Yeah. yeah. That's what you want to do. Would you fare thing well? Okay, sure. get it, get it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> one last one. one ah! <laughs> okay. This is called Fare Thee Well. Devil is 
always hungry. Don't let him eat your tears. The devil is thirsty. Don't let him drink your fear. Fare thee well, my little darling. Fare thee well, my old true love. Take a rocky road and make it level. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Fare thee. Was for sale. Yes. Um, nice. yes. You can get it on Spotify, right? You can get it on Spotify. You can get it on Apple Music. You can get it on uh, iTunes. You can get it, you know, you get it on Bandcamp. <laughs> lots, lots of places. Also, the um, the um, um, June Nepal um, website as well. The record company. That's it. Okay. That's fantastic. Well, then you guys fare thee well too. Oh, <laughs> a valediction for bidding morning. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was Thank really beautiful. You. Thank you. Does anyone have uh, any questions? Um, well, yes. Wait. How do you get to play like that without spending about a million hours practicing? Oh, but we do spend a million hours practicing. We practice a lot. We're big on practicing <laughs> as a band. 10,000 hours. Yeah, 10,000. Lisa really believes in 10,000 hours, right? <laughs> yes, she yes. does. She does. 10,000 um, hours. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. Yeah, that's a philosophy. <laughs> that's, Absolutely. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, we don't do 10,000 hours, but we do practice a lot. We do. You know, a lot of it is just, just we just show up and just keep doing it, right? So it feels, looks effortless because we practice. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's an hourglass thing, right? The 10,000 hours. Yeah. It's a Lisa thing. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, I, I tried oh to my God. you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> artwork. <laughs> Thank I'll you. I'll work on it and send okay. you guys. Yeah. Please, do. Please do. Please do. What's your name? Yeah. Uh, I'm, my name's Chris Hennessy. Hi, Chris Hennessy. Thank you for that. Hi. So it's us, okay? Yeah. We'll, we'll put it on our You're website. Welcome. I will. <laughs> I'll find, yeah, I'll, I'll add a little bit of some pops of color. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Cool. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I, love the way, I love the way the arts exchange things and, and give each other inspiration and yes. add to each other. Yes, yeah, absolutely. We all do that. Yes, that's a good moment when those things happen. I agree. Yeah. We need yeah. more of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's exactly what I thought, you know, they would be great for the festival in terms of that poetry at the center of that music and then that music generating other art, you know, that was yeah. the, 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 the choice. I wanted to ask you, uh, ask you all, how did you all, how did you meet? Like, how did that happen? And, you know, yeah. So long story short, we were actually in a band called Rough Magic, um, you, know, you know, and, you know, then the band sort of broke up and then, you know, and, you know well, well, we we're actually, the band hadn't broken up yet. We actually were doing, we we're doing a, a gig in um, uh, Missouri, 
where I was teaching in the University of Missouri. And, you know, there were, I had a band, I had a gig, but I, the whole band couldn't come down. But Charlie and Lisa could come down. So, so, so we sort of turned into a, a trio and we loved playing it. We loved playing together so, so well, it felt so good. That, that you know, afterwards, as, as we were getting drunk and drinking in the bar, in the bar, we so they said, "This is really cool. Let, let's see if we can keep doing this." So, so out of that started the idea of, of where we are right now. You know, we, we often we actually recorded a, you know a, a, a recorded some stuff just just for a trio, and and then we've been going since. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember hearing about Rough Magic back. Yeah. Way, yeah, back then. So, what what was that? Maybe the maybe the aughts. Yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah. We've been playing together almost ten years now. Yeah, wow. Yeah, That's six great. of those years, I think, were or five. It sort of blends in together, sort of bleeds. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The rough magic days and then the yeah, trio yeah. days. They kind of, they yeah. kind of bleed. Yeah. But, but all together, it's been almost ten years. That's, That's great. fantastic. Do you know the difference between a like when you write a write something? You are you writing from the beginning a song, or are you writing from the beginning a poem, or do you write a poem and then turn it into a song? Well, or my intent, well intentionally, most of the time it starts off as I know exactly what I'm going to write. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write a song. I'm going to write a poem. I mean that that's that's pretty clear. I mean occasionally they bleed over, right? But 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 nine times out of ten, nine and a half ten times out of ten, if I'm going to write a song, I'm going to write a song. I'm going to write a poem. I'm going to write a poem. It's not going to be like a rap poem. And so I realize it can be a song, right? Yeah. <laughs> or it ought to be a song, or vice versa. Um, I'm very clear about about those divisions. If if I keep calling poetry and and song lyrics their cousins, right? They're yeah. Not, but they're not exactly the same thing. Right. Um, that you know, different ways of 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 uh, reciting, as reciting as opposed to singing. Mm -hmm. Right, which means I have to do with the melody, which I have to do with deal with the arrangement. <laughs> you know, these other things have to come into play as way for me to make it work. Well, as the poem is just the mechanics of the poem and the yeah. reader. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So the three of you have been working together for a while now. Oh, wow. You yeah. hear, yeah, when you hear the lyrics, so does it, is it song, like, is it a comp lyrics first or? Music. Depends on the song. Depends, there's no real, there's no real roadmap here. There's, it, it, it depends on the song, right? Um, there's a couple of songs on the album where I just started off with, uh, just with, uh, um, just with a hand clap, you know, in a melody, and then had them, you know, go off, go off from there. There's a, there's a side project that we did during the pandemic um, pro, um, project that was basically elegies to African American males who have been killed either by police or black, you know. You know, so one of the first one that, that we put together with this great musician, um, Jenny Johnson, but we put together, it started off as just me reciting um, a quote, um, a quote that, that, that I had that, from a uh, email exchange that I had with one of my students, my ex-students from Sarah Lawrence, because um, um, Arbery just, had just, got, just got killed, right, in Texas, right? Uh, he was running down the street, jogging down the street, and he got killed. And my student emailed me and said, well, are you going to write something about this? And I wrote her back and said, you know, I've written so many of these, too many, I'm not going to do any more. And, you know, and she turned the tables on me and said, well, whatever you write next, that obviously that's going to be one of the lines in your, you know, whatever that's going to be. And I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? And so from there, I, I, I took that as a starting off point. I took some lines from some African-American poets, including Lucille Clifton, um, and set that to a metronome. Just recited a cult to a metronome and then sent it off to Jenny, and Jenny started to embellish it and turned it into this incredible um, mm -hmm. uh, piece. So you never know when it's going to start, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, it's necessary, you don't always necessarily start with a, with a melody, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. What do you what what are the what's the future for uh what for the for the group? What are you all working on now? Or what? Well, we're, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> you know, we're, yeah, we're pretty we're pretty we're pretty grass hoppy. You know, we're not ants. We're no, we're, no, we're not grass hoppy. We're, we're really ants, not not grass hoppy. I'm <laughs> saying, we're, you know, you know, it's you know, we're really kind of ant like. We just sort of keep working. <laughs> you know, you know, we find the next thing, which we go on to the next thing, and. Um, you know, I mean, more songs. Hopefully, we'll get another, you know, um, album together at some point. But right now, we're, we're dealing with the uh, pandemic songs. Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah, I was wondering about an, another, another album. You know, um, 
So Chris, do you want to ask your question? She put it in the chat, but. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't catch where that, um, what that piece was called that you were just talking about. And is that on the album? It's not on the album, this. no. No, that's, that's, okay. a, that's a separate project. Um, okay. I can't, and I can't remember the name of the project. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> 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 it's on your website? It was a word I had never heard of. If, we, a... <laughs> if you go to our website, you'll see it. I think it's placed. I think it's on our website. It's on our website. It's on our website. <laughs> on our website. You'll see it. Okay. okay. The, 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 no, song that, <laughs> the, the song that I'm referring to, the, the track that I'm referring to is called Anthology. Okay. That's, that's the very first. That's the very first track on that. On that is is a three is a okay. three track EP, and that's the very first track. Okay, okay. that's that's yeah. trackable. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to hear it. Yeah. No, no, yeah you Thank can. you. This is really really powerful stuff. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I like where you said. <clears throat> In heaven, there are no germs and all sorts of good news about heaven. And then you said, but you have to obey the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was very clever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always, there's always a catch. There's always a catch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, and you notice it's not a de democracy. No, no, I have a very cynical sense of what heaven is. It's uh, a monarchy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a very cynical sense, sense of it. There's, a, there's another song on, uh, uh, on, on, not on the album, but, but, but was recorded during the album, which is, which is about the um, incident with Amy Cooper, the person who was in Central Park and tried to, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, right. That that person, you know, you know, and, and I, I'm kind of kind of mocking that too. Their their idea of what happens is where Chris Cooper can't can't go. <laughs> so so it's a segregated heaven, in other words, you know. Um, but but don't take that. I mean, I'm not a you know anti anything. It's just, I sound very. I'm, I'm a writer, so <laughs> so these things happen. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, that's 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 what we do. We we. we... Yeah, oh, that's, the that's what we do. We imagine, right? <laughs> that's what we do. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else have other questions? I think Jane Satterfield said she had to sign off, but she wanted to send thanks for to this for the amazing group and thanks to me for the great conference. And um, yeah, well, thank you, Jane. Thank you. Thank her when you talk. We see her next. I will. I mm -hmm. will. Well, um, yeah. I, the other day, I jumped the gun and did my uh, thanks before we had our questions. So <laughs> this time, I'm going to bring it back. You were good. You were good. You were good. This is good. We live and learn. I right? did <laughs> some time between cups of coffee. Right. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> organizing. You're organizing. That's good. That's good. Then, 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 then less, less, less caffeine, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, so that's a sort of. Good luck with, you, with your, future, your future performances. Thank you. Thank you. You know, again, we really enjoyed playing for you. It was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, and, you know, really and hope it came across okay. You know, this is our first time we're doing a, a live, uh, a live, uh, a live cast. You know, so uh, you know, hoping it, 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 you know, it came across. Oh yeah, you all sounded like pros. It sounded like it sounded like you were. We were. I was listening to a performance. You know, like yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, the sound was fantastic. Um, yeah. And yeah, and all of that, like even the articulation of the, I don't know what you call that, but I could even hear the, like the, you know, the fingers on the, on the strings, you right. know, like that. Good, good mics. Really <laughs> I don't know what that's called, but. It's called good uh, equipment. <laughs> yeah. <it's good. laughs> yeah. I have no, I have no vocabulary for it, for that, but it sounded good to me. So well, One of the things that came out of this is that, you know, uh, we had to figure out a way of, make, uh, of making music, right? You know, even though we were in three mm -hmm. different locations, right? And I, I think out of that, you know, uh, both Charlie and Lisa really stepped up in terms of doing productions, doing production. They really just sort of figured out how to do it because we, we had to figure out how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So whatever, however you all, yeah, whatever the equipment was, it, it sounded like we were like in the studio with you. So kudos to you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, 
So I was wondering, and then one more question, and then we'll, and then I'll, I'll um, say my uh, final thank yous. But Cornelius, how, were you in a band in like high school and college, or was this something you 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 came into as you you know further on in your career? Like, were you in a band when you oh, were? Everybody my age was in a band. <laughs> you were... that's, just, uh, that's just part of the. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's part of what's, you know, the equipment, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, everyone was in a band, yeah. Um, I was in several bands in high school. Um, okay. um, one with my wife, Sarah, we were in okay. a band, right, for about a year. That band, yeah. re that band actually rehearsed for a year, and then the band broke up before we started to play, because I think a number of things. One was that the guitarist we had decided he didn't want to do the folky rock kind of thing, was more to you know, um, Ario, Ario Speedwagon and some other people. <laughs> I was like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore. And he was the heart of the band. So once he went, everybody, everything song went, you know, went, went south as well. But, but um, yeah, a number of bands, you know, through through the years. And, and uh, I've always been, I've always been playing music pretty much, pretty much um, parallel to, to writing poetry. Just at the, um, at a certain point, poetry took, you know, the high road. <laughs> Well, that's really cool. That's cool because I, you know, I remember when you would, when I would hear you read when we were, you know, Kavi Kahneman, and you would sing, you know, most lots of your work, you would sing it, and um, and I thought, oh, he needs a band. <laughs> <laughs> I got the band. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Back in band. the '90s. I know. I, I, I know. I know. Back <laughs> in, yeah, but now back in the '90s, I was, I was, that was when I was still working with Deidre. You know, yeah. um, Lisa Murray, and, and, and that kind of scratched that itch for me. You know, working on operas mm -hmm. and theater pieces with her was really sort of like, you know, I, I mean, it was sort of like, not only was it fun to do, it's like, how can you beat Deidre Murray? I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, yeah. she's a genius. So, so, so it's kind of like, you know, no need to write any music. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. um, but, 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 you know, but at a certain point, it just started to bubble up again. Yeah, well, and we're when we're so happy that it did, and so thank you to you and Lisa and Charlie 